We've brought in CNBC's real estate correspondent, Diana Olick, for some quick guidance. What, what are buyers most concerned about, Diana? Shep, it's mostly prices, which are up about 13 percent nationally from a year ago. But consumers are asking all kinds of questions. Just take a look at Google Trends. This week, the term how to get ready to buy a house is at its highest level in a year. That suggests still very strong demand. Now, at the start of this month, how to buy a house without selling yours spiked 160 percent in just a week. When will the housing market slow down? Searches doubled, even though the numbers show sales already coming down slightly in the past few months, according to the realtors. That may mean competition is even more fierce for the few listings that there are. And of course, people asked, why are houses so expensive right now? A 300 percent jump in that question. The answer is because of high demand and low supply, Shep. Hey, any questions you saw that kind of worried you? Yeah, actually, there's one. It was, can I use my 401k to buy a house? Now, search interest in that has doubled in the past three months, and that says to me that people are really stretching to afford a home. No surprise, of course, given prices, but dipping into your 401k will cost you in penalties and taxes. You might be able to borrow against it, but you'd likely pay a higher interest rate on it than a traditional mortgage, plus you'll pay that in after-tax dollars. Shep. Any signs we're getting close to a price peak? Well, you'd hope so. One question, what are home values near me? Well, that's been a breakout search in the past three months, and it suggests that people are finally thinking about putting their homes on the market. That's welcome news as we come out of COVID, because builders can only do so much, and we need more sellers. That would bring the prices back a little bit, Chuck. Diana, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.